This is a quick look at the new Vivid launcher updates for the DeSator head units. Don't forget, I don't get paid to endorse any company or product, and this is my own opinion and something that I want to share with you. Late last year, I did a review on this DeSator 11.6 inch Android head unit, which was absolutely amazing for many reasons. One of them being that it has the best movable arm solution that I've seen on any Android head unit. And it has the PX6 processor, making it one of the fastest Android head units that you can buy, coupled with its four gigabytes of RAM. But what wasn't so good about it was the Vivid launcher software that they put on it simply wasn't finished at the time when I was reviewing it. It had lots of little issues and it kind of made the usability of the DeSator a little bit tedious just out of the box. One thing that I will say is that Vivid themselves have been very, very good at keeping their launcher software up to date. And on this DeSator head unit, it now has the very latest version of it. And I thought I have to show you because uh, it, it makes it a million, million times better. Now, if you have a look on the screen here, this is what the Vivid launcher looks like these days. Uh, this is one of two different uh, dashboards, but this one I particularly like because it has these sort of transparent sections and some really useful stuff. So. Uh, local music. This is actually connected to my Spotify at the moment, so it's got all the album art and the track names in. I've got some control over it directly on the screen as well. Navigation is up here. You can search for a location. It opens in Waze, which is my navigation app of choice, which is cool. Uh, you've got a weather app down here. You've got a speedometer, so you can see how fast you're going. And you have uh, your radio app so that you can go into your uh, and listen to your radio stations right on the dashboard. And they have given you the option of adding some other stuff as well, like what widget do you want? They want your feedback so that you can uh, they can add more widgets for you. And this is something that I really like. Like the development team are looking for ideas from users to better improve it. Now, as I said, this is one of two. So if you go into the menu and under theme, you can go to the classic layout, which is similar to what we were looking at the last time that I reviewed the unit. And as you can see, one side of this 1080p screen is dedicated to music playback, which is connected to my Spotify. And the other side has uh, this map on here as well. Now I did note that if I was to search for somewhere to go, last time this didn't work. So if I search now, it does work. But what happens is it opens in uh, ways, the, the navigation app that I have instead of in this uh, nice little window, I would have preferred to have had it open here. But personally, I prefer the widget version, so I'm just gonna put that back now. Now, I don't know if you noticed that one of the other things that they've uh, improved is the actual layout of the menu. So it does look similar, but it's actually much better to look at. So under theme, you get to change you know, the version of the desktop that we've just shown you, or you can change uh, wallpapers and you can add more wallpapers simply by going to browse more here. Under display, you can have light mode or dark mode. I've always preferred dark mode in my car, which is what I've got it set to. They've given you a, a choice with regards to the updates now. Canary means that you can get the beta version of the Vivid software before it's released to the masses. I, I like that. I like to test stuff before everyone else. So that's what I've got mine set to. But uh, production is also there. Production is the tried and tested and true uh, that everyone can be comfortable with. Under car, you can set what car you have. Mine says Saab 95, but has the picture of a BMW. Unfortunately, you can't change the uh, picture of the BMW. But the main thing about this section is that you can actually choose specific models of your car, and it automatically sets the canvas settings for that particular car. That's to retain steering wheel controls and connect to other bits and pieces that are actually built into the car as well, which is pretty cool. Now under user, you can actually set up a valet lock. So that's uh, if you're getting your car washed by someone and you don't want them to be messing about on your head unit, then you can set up a password and that will prevent anyone from accessing it. Um, I do recommend that you do not ever use your main Google account when you are using any brand of Android head unit. You should have a separate Google account specifically for your car. And that way, if anything happens to your car or if there's someone else in your car, they're not gonna have access to all your emails and all your accounts. And uh, yeah, have a separate uh, Google account. The layout of this head unit is lovely. It still has um, your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and all of that good stuff as well. It is a premium head unit, a premium brand, and uh, yeah, it's absolutely superb. So to say to well done, Vivid's turned into an awesome launcher and uh, it's really good.